Welcome to the Designer page, which is sometimes referred to as the app's user interface. There are two main categories for components that make up the Designer page, the visible and non-visible. Let's talk about components. First, on the left-hand side on the palette, that's where you'll find the components that you want to use in your app. Components can be added by a simple click, drag, and drop onto the viewing screen. Components can be found in drawers. If you're asked to go to a drawer, the media drawer or drawing animation drawer, they're located on this palette where you'll find those individual components that you can drag and drop to the interface. The workspace here is the viewer space, and this is where you can see what the app will look like to the user uh, when they open it on their device. There are two types of components here the visible and non-visible. As you can see, we have a text box, we have a button, we have a text-to-speech component, as well as an accelerometer, sensor one. These are not visible, but worker bees that affect the internal uh, behavior of the application, but stay behind the scenes. The visible components are the ones that the user would see or interact with in the application itself. Again, dragging a component to the, the viewing window will put it into the visible or non-visible area. To modify a component, you need to go over to the components list, select the component you want to modify, and then look at the properties options that you have. So you can make those changes there and they will be, you'll see how they change on the screen. So you have your palette, your drawers, your components. You have the viewing area that shows the non-visible and visible components and then the ability to access each component and its properties. You will also be provided with a designer page with pictures of the components for reference as you go through building your applications. Make sure you're familiar with this area before moving forward in the course.